Hello everyone, this is Ksenia Mia Brogilovsky. It's the 29th of March now, uh, Friday, early hours of Good Friday, Easter long weekend. I'm speaking out of my room at yet another hotel here in uh, Toronto, Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. I decided to record this uh, brief video message about um, um, the slavic uh, uh, russian culture that was created uh, over the years in, in the soviet and post-soviet uh, eras uh, so effectively what i wanted to note here in this video is that um, women like myself and i am a I'm still a mix, right? I'm not a blue blood, purebred, white Slavic girl of uh, uh, ghost, like uh, standard proportions and standard upbringing and standard uh, Slavic heritage. I have a little bit of uh, uh, variability there, okay? The 10 to 15 percent of uh, uh, undesirable. Uh, genetic characteristics so to speak but i wanted to speak about something else i wanted to uh, make a note of um, the bullshit rotten culture that um, russians created the soviets created um, that um, resulted in uh, a string of uh, deaths and uh, destroyed lives and wasted lives uh, frankly of um, big boned uh, large women okay and i'm not talking fat i'm not talking fat disga disgusting diseased uh, sloppy lazy or whatever other uh, qualities are associated with uh, larger people i'm speaking about uh, a breed of slavic uh, women uh, that are just bigger than the standard um, the accepted standard of a wifey of a housemate of a, a female partner for a family of future future law-abiding citizens okay so this culture was created over the years of uh, the soviet rule then the post-soviets where economy and efficiency and obedience and subserviency uh, was um, praised and valued um, especially in females okay mostly in females right and so uh, those girls that um fell out of the uh, the standard fell out of uh, this uh, accepted standard for a female partner that's uh, who's been given a life who's been given uh, a place to be a job uh, a housing everything a life okay a life so my uh, great grandmother for example was also large okay she was large she was a swimmer she was uh, fit uh, she ended up she ended up okay she was slaughtered she was put into a medical coma for her to end her life because there was no prospect for her life there was no uh, future for her she was um the leftover so to speak and the leftover in the russian society uh, the post-Soviet society, the post-Soviet countries overall, not just Russian Federation, the, the current Russian Federation, the, the post-Soviet countries, the leftover women are uh, the larger ones, okay? I am considered to be of a manly proportions. I am a man. I am uh, equal to a man in uh, the post-Soviet territories. And so, uh, yeah, uh, girls like me, uh, we we can't afford we can't afford to live on our own okay because yeah the expectation is that you are gonna marry someone but no one is gonna suit you your needs and your uh, genetics just because of yeah you don't have economy and yeah you don't have efficiency uh you are a uh, uh, freaking dodge whereas everyone is driving uh, smart or a fiat you know <laughs> that's as uh um, uh, as a sort of uh, uh, common draw um, uh, sort of comparison that I can come up with right now, okay? Uh, you are not efficient. You are not economical. I am. I require much more um, in terms of uh, energy to run successfully, to be healthy, to um you know operate to live to exist to breathe and so on without 
ruining uh, myself into obscurity, so to speak. So this culture was created to uh, praise and value and to uh, encourage uh, uh, smaller women, uh, women of uh, sort of um, uh, subservient, obedient uh, characteristics who are um, uh, house, great housekeepers, great maids, great mothers, great grandmothers, great wives, lovers, etc., etc. I have no such aspirations. I have no longer any aspirations. I only have aspirations to have my life and uh, lead it in a healthy way so that I can breathe and enjoy um, sort of my life the way it was supposed to be, okay? Uh, until I was kidnapped and trafficked and sold into sexual slavery, all right? So, uh, yeah, so this... Um, Video comment would also include reference to uh, fancy Hollywood movies where um, fancy actors of uh, wonderful genetic proportions uh, uh, always win or they die beautifully uh, with fanfares and uh, accolades and they are praised and they are heroes and they are this and they are that, okay? Whereas... Uh, uh, dodge caravans like myself are uh, forced into, and mostly Slavic women like myself, forced into being a slaughter meat for the worldwide nations, for whatever it is that we end up, uh, happen to be in a place and a moment, we are just slaughter meat, we are slaughter meat, okay? Slavic women of larger proportions are undesirable, and we are a slaughter meat. All right, so um, a reference here will include, um, uh, just because I happen to find a lot of um, uh, allusions uh, in my surroundings and in my life to uh, this fancy movie, a Blade Runner or whatever, with Ryan Gosling and this uh, 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 idiot Harrison Ford, who is like this and like that. Anyway, uh, so those beautiful characters are uh, heroes and they are this and they are that and they are dying wonderfully and they are this and like dramatic deaths and stuff like that. Um, uh, whereas uh, uh, people of genetic qualifications, like myself, are being portrayed as uh, fucking slaughter pigs, like that farmer in the very beginning of the Blade Runner movie, uh, who was miraculously uh, overpowered by a flimsy Ryan Gosling uh, with his fancy car and his fancy... Um, uh, character and his like uh, um, uh, cinematic persona. He is also camera loved and uh, he is just um, uh, being so like in his uh, character that, that he knocks out a huge freaking dude who is twice his size, okay, who in real life would just knock the flimsy Ryan Gosling out with one smash of one hand, all right? And so that's real life, but hey, the the, the Ryan Goslings here in North America, the, the fancy heroes, the Harrison Fords and the uh, 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 Scars Guards and all those uh, blonde uh, Ap Apollon uh, style uh, uh, gods, they are, um, they, they are being given a uh, free ticket for everything, for a, uh, a great life, for being welcomed everywhere, for being loved by everyone, being accepted into any job they want, being, uh, you know, uh, fucked around and uh, getting paid to uh, sort of spread their seeds and just like, just be with us, just be with us, you're a god, a god. Whereas uh, people of genetic qualifications like myself, are being treated like pig slaughter, slaughter meat, being forced into abomination of houses, being forced to uh, sort of uh, eat maggots out of the land, okay, uh, lead a filthy lifestyle, uh, sell ourselves for exploitation, sell ourselves for uh, I don't know, sexual favors, you name it, okay? And I'm not talking about um, uh, sexual favors um, uh, like uh, those in Japanese movies, uh, uh, younger girls and older dudes, no, no, no. <coughs> 
<clears throat> I was in a situation of human trafficking for 15 years in Canada. Uh, for 15 years before anything was done, okay? And uh, that's me. That's, uh, that's again, the reference to this undesirable uh, woman character of undesirable genetic uh, makeup, all right? While uh, all the uh, uh, Russian Slavic dudes are being paid off, they are being uh, uh, promoted and accepted into jobs and this and this. I was just uh, being destroyed. I was just being destroyed, okay? And uh, again, it all comes down to how you are perceived by society, uh, what culture you're coming from. I had um, zero rights, zero value in any of my uh, original uh, sort of um, uh, places... Uh, my initial places of origin in uh, uh, the uh, Republic of Uzbekistan, I was definitely a man, okay, um, like, I mean, in terms of needs and uh, aspirations, I was not a common girl, definitely not, okay, in the uh, Russian Federa Federation, the Slavic nations, again, I am, <laughs> no aspirations there, I require as much, I need as much as a standard average man, Okay, if not more, if not more, okay, I am, as a matter of fact, larger and bigger and uh, need as much as a, a, a man uh, higher than average in, like, I don't know, the third percentile there, 50 to 75 percent of uh, uh, scale of uh, men's proportion. But, hey, uh, what could I do? What could I do? No one would... Uh, sort of uh, take me out of uh, the situation where I was literally selling my life uh, for ex uh, being employed into bogus jobs, being kept in uh, a bogus uh, abomination of a house, uh, being uh, sort of uh, uh, humiliated and harassed throughout, throughout. No one did nothing for 15 fucking years. And RCMP knew all full well about my mother, her status of being syphilitic, uh, the uh, husband, the spouse who's been uh, injected, God knows what. Huh, I'm uh, living with congenitally ill spouse, but that's fine because what? I have zero value, right? I have uh, no other um, partner to partner with, uh, no baby to come out, out of me so that uh, the future uh, population of citizens of the Commonwealth can be added to and uh, gained from my uh, sort of uh, uh, female construction, okay? I am just a slaughter meat for exploitation, for anything and anything, for the uh, destruction of my health, etc., etc. So, uh, what I wanted to say is that uh, if you value all those um, uh, Hollywood-style, uh, heroic, uh, sort of uh, Apollon-style uh, uh, personalities, by all means, go and, you know, uh, whatever rocks your boat. I do not. I do not. I am the way I am. I have not chosen my parents. I have not chosen my genetic uh, makeup and characteristics. But I absolutely require my life, my human rights to be defended as much as those uh, uh, dramatic characters in your fancy uh, Hollywood movies, okay? And uh, uh, your fancy Hollywood movies, frankly, is bullshit. Your Harrison Ford in your Ryan Gosling and all your bullshit scars girls can go and fuck themselves because they are shit. Okay, they are shit. Those uh, 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 folks uh, who are portrayed as uh, farmers and they are breeding whatever maggots there, uh, very much association to all the immigrants that you drag from uh, whatever third world countries, from countries that are experiencing economic um, uh, chaos, uh, you're dragging them over here to, I don't know, uh, breed children, build houses, uh, uh, live in condition of uh, ancient guest houses that are stinky, that are uh, just, just purely disgusting, okay, purely disgusting. And for that reason, for just being the way I am, for being genetically different, I was slaughtered, I was slaughtered.